Hello children from JAM. I hope you're sitting around comfortably, ready to listen to this week's story. And today's story is called Bernard and the Flower. Now Bernard had finally realised that he was a bee and not a ladybird. But he was still a very proud bee. He loved to fly around showing off his lovely wings and he loved to boast about his lovely yellow and black stripes and he liked to tell everyone that he was the coolest bee in the world and that he didn't need anyone. He was just the coolest there was. Bellamy and Betsy used to make fun of him. They used to do impressions of him and they also told him that everyone needs friends. But Bernard wouldn't listen. One day, he would say, you'll see that I'm the coolest bee ever. I'll probably be the king of all the bees. Bellamy and Betsy would just smile to themselves and leave Bernard to his boasting. You see, Bernard liked to boast, but he really wasn't very clever and he always made mistakes. Today was going to be no exception. Bernard had been out looking for nectar to make into honey. He was clever enough to realise that nectar came from flowers. But he always got a bit confused over which flowers were which. He went looking for roses and ended up in the daisies. And he went looking for daffodils and ended up in the weeds. All these things were a little embarrassing. But nobody saw him, so there was no real problem. Today, however, the next flower that he saw was going to get him into all sorts of trouble. It looked like the most amazing flower of them all. And he was sure that it would be perfect to make into honey. He flew close to it and could smell the sweet smell of pollen. He hovered closer and then descended on to the flower. He was covering himself in pollen when suddenly the flower snapped closed. Bernard was trapped. This was a special type of flower. It was literally going to let Bernard rot inside it and then it would digest him. It was a nasty process. Most bees would have been shouting for help straight away, but not Bernard. He wasn't like the poor in spirit who knew that they are reliant on God. Bernard didn't want to be reliant on anyone. After all, he told everyone that he wanted to be king. So Bernard was trapped and he was beginning to die. The next day, Bernard heard a bee humming outside, but he didn't make a sound. He was too proud. He was just going to rot. And the next day, and the day after that, bees flew past and Bernard stayed very, very quiet. By day four, he wasn't so proud anymore. He was getting very hungry and he was feeling very squashed. But on that day, day four, no bees went past. Day five came and went and still no bees came past. It was on day seven that Bernard next heard a bee and by then he was desperate. He began to scream and to kick and to cry. It was Bellamy that flew past, and he heard the sound and stopped. Bellamy was able to pull open the flower, and he found Bernard. But it was too late. Bernard was already dead. When the queen of the hive asked the bees why Bernard hadn't called out for help straight away, Bellamy simply answered 
that Bernard was too proud. And Bernard was not poor in spirit, he was proud. And being proud is not a good thing. I'll tell you another story next week. <laughs>